Hello friends, I'm headed to Baja California Sur, Mexico. In this short video, I'll tell you what I'm taking with me in my camera bag. So stay tuned and we'll unpack the whole thing. So as mentioned, I want to unpack my camera bag a little bit here for you and kind of tell you what I'm uh, taking with me. What's not in here at the moment is my camera. And so I am shooting with a Sony a7 IV. Really like it, great camera, full frame. And it's also a great hybrid camera, which is something that's very important to me because uh, I do like to take photos as well as video, and so uh, the camera can serve dual purposes there, so that's very flexible. Uh, the other thing is the lens that I'm, I'm shooting with currently, and that is a Sony 20 millimeter 1.8, and I found that the other lenses just are not wide enough, especially handheld if you're shooting, uh, to be able to get good, uh, good wide angle, and especially for vlogging. So those are the two things that I've got on my tripod. And so my tripod is a Ulanzi carbon fiber tripod, and really like that, highly flexible, and really suits a lot of different purposes. So uh, I've got that there. I'm also using the DJI remote microphone and have really enjoyed that. We'll take a look at that here in just a minute as we get into the bag and the bag. So this is extremely important in protecting all of your gear and I am using the Peter McKinnon 25 liter bag. Very flexible, I really like it. I really like these side pockets, so I use the side pocket on this side for, for my Ulanzi tripod. That works out great. I've also got a, a Joby tripod, and this is also very beneficial. I've used this a couple of times to be able to wrap around a fence post or whatever, and the, having these flexible legs, uh, it's also pretty sturdy. Uh, to be able to carry the weight of the camera. Also, just to mention that I do have uh, fitted on everything the Falcam quick release, so there's, there's just a view of that on this one, and that makes it extremely quick to be able to switch uh, mounting positions for the, uh, for the camera. So, uh, very beneficial. Don't use this a whole lot but certainly does come in handy. So with the, with the bag, one thing that's very unique about it is it does have the ability to be able to be reconfigured fairly quickly. And what I'd like to do is <clears throat> open up the bag and let's take a look. Looking inside the bag, as mentioned, this particular module can be reconfigured. I've got it set right now so that it's basically top access. We'll look at that in just a minute. So we have one of these packing cubes right here. And in this cube, the first thing I have are my drone batteries. I've got the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Uh, really like the drone. Um, I've got two of the extended batteries and one of the 249 gram batteries. So those really come in handy. Uh, and specifications on the batteries are roughly about 45 minutes for the extended battery and about 35 minutes for the normal 249 gram uh, battery. Take a look at the DJI uh, website for more information. And then I've actually got the, the drone in here um, along with the drone controller. So those are all inside the bag. And as mentioned, I have the DJI wireless mic. Really have enjoyed that. Super flexible, works extremely well. And in the bag, in addition to the cable that connects the DJI mic receiver into the camera, uh, there's also a USB charger that's in there and then also I keep a an Apple headset in there that I use that I can actually connect to the camera to be able to monitor the audio levels if needed. So that fits all very neatly right in there. Uh, the other thing I've got on this side are two GoPros. So I actually will be carrying three GoPros with me. I've got uh, one GoPro that I've got right here which is actually the GoPro 12 uh, with MediaMod. 
And with the GoPro clamp, I find the GoPro clamp is extremely useful. You can clamp it onto quite a number of different things, tables, clamped it onto the boats, onto the seat, uh, etc. And that works extremely well. And one of the primary reasons I got the 12 is that it can be operated by Bluetooth. Uh, so not only voice commands, but it can, it can be operated by Bluetooth. And another cool feature about this is I have it connected to my Cardo PackTalk Edge a helmet communication system for my motorcycle. And that will be the subject of a upcoming video. But I also have, in addition, as mentioned, I've got two other GoPros. I've got a Hero 11 and a Hero 9, and the 9 is currently set up ready to be used as a dash cam in time warp mode while I'm down in Baja, and the 11 is basically a backup spare that I'll be using. With my GoPros, I typically shoot in 5K and 8x7 and that gives me a lot of flexibility to be able to reframe uh, later. Also has a number of pockets here. Uh, in the pockets, I do have a, uh, a gray card uh, that I use for setting white balance. I've also got a uh, Peter McKinnon variable neutral density filter for my camera. I've also got various neutral density filters for both my GoPro and my drones. So looking, looking in the top of the bag, one of the things that I have is the camera strap. So I am using the Peak Design quick release system. I've also got a Sony battery grip, again, configured with the Falcam quick release. Uh, this is great for tabletop. And I've also got the, the Sony mic. I really like this mic. So very small, very compact, and really, really super. Does great with audio. Um, also configurable in terms of which direction the sound is coming from. So you can quickly modify that and capture sound from multiple different orientations. And lens caps, of course. And then I am carrying a 28 to 75 millimeter Tamron zoom. Uh, this is a uh, f 2.8, and really like this. This is this is really my go-to lens for most things if I'm not if I'm not vlogging. Other things in here, I do have three solid-state drives that I will be taking with me to. Uh, to be able to download. I have a memory card case, really like this. This really comes in handy. Uh, and you'll notice that I've got it labeled ready and used uh, so that I know which uh, memory cards are, are uh, next. Next up, I've got a little collapsible uh, bag that I can use, reusable bag. Yeah, and that's pretty much the top compartment. And again, with just by unzipping this, you can really quickly reach in and out. This is where uh, my camera will live when, when I'm not using it. And then in this pocket up here, I uh, have a lot of different things. I have a lot of lens wipes, etc., stickers, note cards, and pen, etc. So that's the top. Really, this is super handy to be able to unzip and, and get to things from the top. What else can I tell you about the bag? It does have a laptop pocket here that's padded. Uh, so I will be taking my, my MacBook Pro with me. Uh, so anyway, that's my, that's my camera bag. And what I'm taking with me will definitely give you some updates when I'm down in Baja California Sur. On, I hope you enjoyed this short video. So I'm really looking forward to getting out and getting back on the road again in Baja California Sur. It's a beautiful place, so many beautiful locations. Uh, it, it's all about the people, the food, the culture, and I'm really looking forward to it. So hope you enjoyed this short video. Please like and subscribe. That helps me grow the channel and look forward to any comments that you might have. Thanks and have a great day.